Hello everyone, this is Keith here, and today I'm playing the recently released Saints Row the Third for Linux. Now, one thing I would like to uh, preface this uh, video with is that this isn't, this doesn't seem to be a completely native game. Much like with Saints Row 4, this game seems to use the virtual programming wrapper uh, Eon, so the game isn't 100% native, which is a disappointment. Uh, because I, whenever I play a virtual programming game, you know, Eon, they tend to seem to have multiple problems with them. Uh, so yeah, anyway, this game just came out for Linux, this, and Saints Row 2. I don't have Saints Row 2, uh, but I did get this game a while ago in the, uh, THQ bundle. I believe that's where I got it from. So anyway, yeah, Saints Row the Third, uh, plays similar to Saints Row 4. Oh, hopefully that doesn't get me a copyright strike. But anyway, yeah, uh, so Saints Row 3 plays similar to Saints Row 4, except it's not quite as uh, bonkers, you know. Uh, people seem to prefer, some people prefer Saints Row 3 over 4, because Saints Row 3, you know, doesn't have the crazy superpowers and other things that just sort of make it, you know, too much for some people. Uh, people seem to prefer this game because it is more grounded, you know, it's the right amount of nonsense. You know, you still have the dildo bats and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, anyway, it's so general performance. Uh, the game, in my opinion, runs worse. Uh, Saints Row 3 runs worse than Saints Row 4, in my opinion. Uh, especially in certain instances. Like, if I'm driving around, like you see right there, massive frame rate drops for no real reason. Uh, and sometimes, if I just sort of move the camera around, that can also cause huge frame uh, stuttering and just, you know, uh, st stuttering in general. Uh, it's a very annoying issue. Uh, it seems to be an issue with every virtual programming game I've ever uh, played. So yeah, during the starting area I've heard performance is much better, but uh, you know, I didn't really want to start a new game to see. One interesting thing is when I, after I downloaded this game and I, you know, went to the main menu and hit play, yeah, continue, it actually did uh, start me off exactly where I was last on my Windows save. So it does import saves and everything, uh, so that's pretty cool. So if you were playing in Windows, you can hop right into Linux and just continue straight from where you left off. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I, I'm kind of, I kind of have mixed feelings about this port. Like sometimes it runs worse than Saints Row 4, but sometimes it runs better. Uh, I don't know. It seems to just be completely variable and not that consistent. Uh, I should mention I am playing the game on the highest settings, Ultra. I have a NVIDIA GTX 970 and a uh, Intel i7-4970K. So my hardware is more than enough to run this game. And I remember running this game on Windows with less powerful hardware than I have now, and it ran without any uh, performance issues. So yeah, the Linux port definitely isn't uh, outstanding performance-wise, but it does seem to run well. I uh, see I'm just going around shooting people. Just shooting random people, <laughs> like you do in any other GTA clone, really. But yeah, anyway, I mean, the game's definitely playable. It's fun, uh, you know. It does seem to function well. It doesn't seem to have any type of stability issues or anything like that, at least on my uh, distribution hardware. I'm running on the latest uh, NVIDIA drivers. I like how I jumped over that pole there. Uh, so yeah, performance is kind of inconsistent. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the setting, the display settings down to low, just to sort of show you guys the difference in performance. Okay, and I gotta make sure uh, OBS just capture that. Yep, everything's running good. Okay, so yeah, uh, on low, the frame rate goes up really high. You know, we're hitting. Uh, you know, constantly above 100 frames per second, but even on this uh, frame rate, uh, even on this graphic settings, you still have those really strange uh, frame rate drops where sometimes just, yeah, like right there, the frame rate will just dip wildly, but, uh, but you know, with low on, you know, those, that frame rate drop is such a big deal because it's still above 60, so it's not as noticeable, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, you know, you don't want to play it on low, especially when you have the hardware to run it higher. And if you just look at everything, like the textures and stuff, it just looks really awful on low. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and turn that back up. 
See, it doesn't so much like any other virtual programming game. Uh, you know, any game that uses Eon, no matter what video settings you play on, you're still going to have those huge uh, frame rate drops and frame rate inconsistency. So yeah, I mean, this is Saints Row the Third on Linux. It's uh, definitely a fun game, and you know, it's probably the closest we're ever going to get to Grand Theft Auto on Linux. Uh, and it, you know it's a it's a good game. I definitely recommend it for people who love GTA clones, uh, but want a little bit more uh, silliness, I guess, and less sort of uh, in simulation. It's really a fun game. So yeah, that is uh, Saints Row the Third on Linux. It's not, you know, it's not the best port, but it does work, and there is you know co-op for much like in Saints Row Four. So it can you know if you have a buddy, it can be fun to sort of tag team. Uh, doing missions and stuff together uh, and the games you know it's playable and that's at the end of the day i guess that's what really matters thank you guys for watching if you like this video give it a like if you have any comments make sure to leave them uh in the uh, video comment section uh ghost squad 57 signing out